Hey partners, it's Today I Grew Up. Please follow me on this journey on YouTube by liking, subscribing, and commenting, and sharing with your friends. Please enjoy this video. Hey guys, it's Today I Grew Up, and I'm really excited. My channel today, we hit 50,000 subscribers. So thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Thank you for all the support. For every time you watch, like, subscribe, and share these videos with your friends, it really means a lot to me. It's been crazy to think I've been collecting Toy Story since 2009. And in all that time, uh, even traveling the world and you know coming back home, and I always buy Toy Story toys. I just want to show off my entire collection. collecting for over 10 years so you can, I can imagine there's a lot of stuff there is more stuff that I have that it's not going to be here um, only because there's just like a lot of posters or keychains or just a lot of little things like posters um, I put some of that out here but I'm mainly putting the, the main part of my collection here so here's some extra boxes I have I have like four Toy Story collection buzz boxes I have about two Woody collection boxes um, I have a Rex collection box Jesse Disney store, um, some Japan alien box, and some more a bullseye box. So I do have extra boxes of things. Um, here's a drawing for the fan show. Somebody's going to win a Toy Story collection, Jesse. Um, but yeah, I have a lot of extra boxes as well. 
Um, but this is definitely a behind the scenes shot for you guys. So here we'll start with my Duke Kaboom signature collection. I really love it because he's my favorite character from Toy Story 4 and it's nice to have him mint in the box. I'm never going to open this one. Then I got a Toy Story signature collection Bo Peep with Sheep mint in the box. Same reason. I really love it and I don't want to open it. Then I have this really rare, I think I believe it was a Target exclusive Toy Story that Time Forgot short playset. This is worth a lot of money now. It's very rare and I'm really happy to have it and i um, never going to open this either because it's just so rare now. Then I have a Disney Store Bo Peep mint in the box. She looks really great in there. I don't want to open her. Um, but yeah, fantastic to have one sealed mint in the box. Then I have a Gabby Gabby from Toy Story 4 all the way from Brazil. I've opened it. You've seen her on my channel already. She smells like baby powder, so she stays in the box. <laughs> Then I have a signature collection Ducky and Bunny, really great Toy Story 4 toys that I got and yeah they're really awesome and they're velcroed together which I love. My Toy Story Funko Pop collection, Zerg was the first Funko Pop that I ever got. He's worth about $100 now, it's pretty rare. I don't have the box but he's a great Funko Pop. Rex is also valuable, he's pretty rare these days to find in Funko Pop form. I'm really grateful to have him. I also have a Buzz Lightyear, Buzz Lightyear keychain. Army Man, original Alien, um, this is going for more money because it's the original Toy Story 1 Alien Funko Pop. I have a Woody Keychain, a Jesse Funko Pop, Bullseye, um, I have a Mini Forky and Bo Peep. I have Duke Kaboom, Combat Carl Jr. I have a Hot Topic exclusive of Woody holding Forky. I also have Bo Peep and Giggle McDimples, Alien and um, Woody, he's actually the original release, he's an older one. Here is Slinky Dog, Wheezy, Ham, Bo Peep, and I have Prickle Pants, and I have a Mrs. Nesbitt Buzz Pop, as well as a regular Buzz Pop back there. Chuckles, um, Prickle Pants, and I have a new Mr. Potato Head Pop, which goes perfect for the scale of Funko Pop. We've never gotten a Toy Story Mr. Potato Head, so this one's pretty close. It's not Toy Story technically, but definitely fits with your Toy Story collection in my opinion. I think it looks great. I also have the Pop Rides RC, Woody, on top of RC, and then I have the Pizza Planet truck right there. So these are just a few of the Funko Pops I have. Um, I do have more keychains and stuff, but this is like the main of my Funko Pop collection for Toy Story that I have. Here I have my Toy Story collection Rex, very rare and expensive by Thinkway Toys. They stopped making him years ago, and I got the Cloud Pattern Rex. This is the old 2009 Rex. Back in the day, these only cost $59.99, and now they cost $800 on eBay, which sucks, but, you know, that's just the reality of toys. As they get popular and old, people want them. Here's my Buzz Lightyear hat. Exclusive blanket I got from the Cinema Club for a Toy Story 4 DVD release. Here's my Rex plush I won in a crane machine in Japan. Here's my Luxo ball from the Emeryville Studio Store. Very rare and expensive. Here's my plush Luxo Ball from Disneyland. Here's some Barbie clothes that I have for Toy Story 4 outfits. When the movie came out, I kept those in the box. Here is my $1,000 <laughs> Sinky Pete the Prospector talking doll. I got it from Decop and yes, the most expensive Toy Story toy I own, one of them is this one, Stinky Pete. But he completed my Roundup Gang collection, so I had to get this. Here's my Toy Story 4 Pet Patrol Giggle McDimples and playset, which is really cool. I got this on Amazon, I think, for $15 when he, Toy Story 4 came out. Then I have the famous Bensons. Got two of them. Um, they're about 12 inches tall, um, and they are hard plastic, but they talk when you press the button behind their head. They do move, so those are pretty cool. Here's Duke Kaboom. I do have an open one because I want I had fun making live actions with him on my channel and then I from brush it off props she made me this awesome Duke Kaboom hoop from Canada so you can jump through it's not actually from Canada but Duke Kaboom is Canadian so that's why I said it here I have the modded Toy Story 4 sheep that I did on my channel and this is a signature collection Bo Peep that I modded to look like Toy Story 4 Bo Peep which means I need to get another signature collection Bo Peep to display her because she just has the dress now since she is now Toy Story 4 Bo Peep, 
Which is the Disney store clothes? Bo Peep. Back here I have a Gabby Gabby from Mattel. She's about seven inches tall. I have my movie accurate Ken and Barbie right there. I've shown these off on my channel multiple times. And an extra Toy Story 3 Barbie back there, which I used to do a movie accurate mod for Barbie. Here I have my custom hand made item from Brazil, Dolly. It's very movie accurate, better than the Toy Story collection Dolly that came out. She has the tooth, she has better uh, proportions, definitely looks like the movie. And here we have the Disney Store Dolly for comparison, which is not very good, but Disney tried. Here's my Disney Store Purple Pants. I do have a signature Purple Pants coming in the mail right now, but I don't have it yet. Here's my movie accurate Trixie from Toy Story QC. He made a huge Trixie for me, so it's in scale with the rest of the Toy Story toys like Rex and Stinky Pete and everybody else. So I really love this one. It's amazing. Also from Toy Story QC, I got a new hockey puck, which I haven't done a review on, but I will in the future. Here's my homemade knifey, or Beverly, as she's known. Here is Forky from the Disney Store. Here's my Toy Story Collection Buttercup, which is really sweet. Here's my Disney Store Disney Parks exclusive Buttercup, which I did a comparison on my channel recently for that. Back here I have my Toy Story pillow with the clouds that I got on Etsy. Here's my Disney Store Zergs. I have a 2020 Zerg release and a 2018, so older Zerg release. So I have two Zergs. I have a Toy Story Collection 2010 Bullseye with the white logo. Here is my Jesse. Um, this one is the original Jesse. This is the signature Jesse head, but then I modded it to be movie accurate. So it has um, better details for that. So those are my Jessies. This is my original Toy Story 1995 VHS. Yes, the VHS is inside of there, which is really awesome. So moving on from Jesse, we'll start with the Woodies. I have, of course, uh, the Japanese Woody. I forgot the name of it, but you build them, it's, you build them yourself like in a puzzle kit and you can build him. I use this Woody in my Billy Eilish um, bad guy music video where he was twerking on camera. It's really funny if you haven't seen it. I did make a bad guy video with this Woody. Here's my Bonnie Toy Story 4 Woody from the Disney Store. It's the latest Woody that you can buy right now at the Disney Store with Bonnie on the boot. This one here is my magnet head swappable mod. Um, so basically uh, I did it so that you can swap expressions for Woody from laughing to closed mouth smile to smiling from the signature head. Um, so that is a signature body Toy Story collection. And here is my movie accurate modded Woody which you guys all know become very popular on my channel now. And then back there is my original Cloud Logo 2009 Woody. The first Woody I ever bought. I will never sell him. I'll never sell that Woody. He's really cool. And he's the original Woody I ever got, Cloud Pattern 2009. Very cool. Frito-Lay Company. Woody, only 150 worldwide exist. They made them to promote the first original Toy Story movies. And now he's really expensive and hard to find. I found this from a guy in the UK. Cost me about $550, which is a steal because he goes for thousands sometimes. Very rare, four foot tall Woody. Also has a Toy Story 4 ukulele that I found at Walmart. Over here you have a Disney Store Buzz that I just bought. Here is a limited edition Disney Store Buzz modded with a head swap that you guys have seen on my channel. Here is my utility belt Buzz Lightyear, very rare and awesome. And here's my lucky eBay auction find Buzz Lightyear cloud pattern that I only bought for 60 bucks, just like it came out back then. And my favorite Buzz is this new Ranger Customs Buzz Lightyear toy mode he looks straight out of Toy Story 3 with magnetic joints and ball joint wrists. I love him. He is amazing. While we're on the topic of Buzz, here is my white logo first. Buzz Lightyear I ever owned in my collection that I bought was this white logo Buzz. And he's in a, my friend Nakata made this movie accurate Buzz Lightyear box. So I'm never going to open it and keep them mint and sealed in this movie accurate box. And then I have the Buzz Lightyear manual instructions movie accurate that I used in a live action recently on my channel. Etch a sketch and a magic eight ball that I found at a thrift store for like three bucks, which is really cool because it's a vintage one from the 90s, I believe. Here is a alien pillow I got at Disneyland. And here is 2010 
Disney Store ham. Very rare, very fragile, very breakable, very expensive. So he is probably one of the rarest items in my collection, one of the first things I ever got. He was originally only $20 in the Disney Store, but then they stopped production because he was breaking on shipping because he is made out of porcelain or clay. I'm not really sure, but he's very breakable. So they stopped making him, and now he's one of the highly sought after hams that you can buy because he's actually movie scale and he and yeah it's just and it's an official Pixar Disney release from 2010 I believe I have six Toy Story collection aliens so half of them are signature aliens and half of them are Toy Story collection aliens as you can see the difference in the greens for the colors of the head sculpts um, the newer ones are brighter green the older ones are a dull green which is very interesting and I modded them the signature aliens to squeak here I have the very rare Thinkway toys Mr. Potato Head Toy Story collection here I have a uh, Toy Story 4 play school Mrs. Potato Head I'm gonna eventually get a modded one but not yet here's my slinky dog with uh, some modifications so he doesn't have a string in his springs anymore here's my Disney on ice Lenny I picked him up after Toy Story 3 came out for Disney on Ice and he only cost $15 but now he goes for over $150 I think on eBay so uh, it costs a lot. Here's my movie accurate Mr. Potato Head toy mode. He functions just like the movie. He has separate eyes and I just really love this Potato Head. He looks awesome and he actually works just like the movie. Back here I have my barrel of monkeys. Fun fact, they stopped making the yellow color after the 80s, I believe, or 70s. And so this is an original vintage Barrel Monkeys in yellow from 70s, I believe. Here's my uh, Wheezy, which is also rare. This is an official Disney Pixar release. Wheezy has a long history. We don't really know where he was sold. Some people think it was Disney on Ice. We're not really sure, but he is very rare and expensive. I think I paid $350 for him, but definitely worth it. I have my white logo, Toy Story Collection. Bucket of Soldiers, which is really cool. And then I have a Toy Story, it looks like a VHS, but it's actually a journal that you can write in. Here's my main Disney Store journal that I keep all my video ideas in and my budget list for YouTube. It's basically my go-to for everything. Here I have a very rare um, Duke Kaboom pin that I found at Barnes & Noble. It's a huge enamel Duke Kaboom pin, which I love. Here is a Duke Kaboom Toy Story 4 Hot Wheels car. Here is a Toy Story um, RC um, Hot Wheels car. Here is a Pizza Planet truck Hot Wheels car, which I really love as well. Here is a light that came with the Cinema DVD exclusive pack that if you turn the lights on, it'll fill your room with a bunch of Toy Story characters. Uh, so that's really, really cool. This I got in Japan. It was Space Crane Aliens, but it actually was chocolate covered aliens which was good I ate them and I got them in Tokyo Japan I got this in Tokyo Japan as well which is a cool little rocket ship with a bunch of little alien figures inside which was filled with candy previously but now filled with little aliens I also got this in Tokyo Japan it's a little popcorn bucket and mini horn keychain but it was really cool to find that in Japan he lights up like this and has different light modes um, I think I got this, yeah, I found this in Disneyland Tokyo Japan as well, which is pretty cool. This one I got in Tokyo Japan as well. He has a little popcorn bucket alien keychain. His mouth does open also, just like the other one I have. And he has little fake popcorn <laughs> around him. So I have basically two of these. One's big and one's small. Another thing I found in Tokyo Disneyland was this cool Toy Story keychain. Yeah, there's a switch in the back and he has different light modes which is pretty cool and it's also a necklace with this really cool Toy Story 4 calendar in the back you can see it has uh, for the calendar year all the different cool uh, portraits from Toy Story 4 movie I got this pen in Disneyland it's a Pizza Planet pen and he eats pizza pepperoni pizza which is cool and it's a pen <laughs> I like that one Shout out to my friend Anthony, also the drummer in my band Heart Like War. When you open it, you can put stuff inside. And I think you got this. This is a Disney on Ice exclusive, I believe, but it's like a cup, which is really, really cool. Uh, here I have an alien voice changer. So you talk into it and he speaks like an alien. I haven't used it on my channel yet, but I probably will someday soon. Here I got from the Tokyo Disney Resort. It's a mask. 
So to keep safe, you can wear masks so you don't get other people sick. I kept it sealed. I'll probably use it one day, but I just think it's really cool because it's exclusive to Tokyo. I got this really cool tin from Tokyo Disneyland. In Tokyo, they love tins. So inside there was chocolates, but I ate them already. But it has really cool detailing so you can keep it as a storage bin for pens, pencils, or whatever you want, which is really cool. Here I have a woody, uh, there's a snake in my boot. You press the spur and he shoots the snake out. So it functions like the movie. Um, it came in an old action figure I think I got back in 2010. It's pretty rare and I think exclusive now. But I really like this. It's pretty fun from like the Roundup Gang collection. This is a Toy Story Mania um, cardboard cutout of Woody's head that I found in Tokyo Disneyland. He was filled with chocolates, but I ate them all, of course. What's very fun about this Woody is that his mouth is able to open and close just like that, which is a really cool collectible. Here is a Woody boot that I got at Disneyland. It says Bonnie on the bottom. It used to have an ice cream float soda inside of it, but of course I drank it. Here I have my printed uh, Woody's Roundup black and white of the school, jail, and sheriff. I have this cool um, I Want You to Join the Space Rangers poster. I have more of these. Joe Quim, thank you, he sent it to me. Um, and he was a graphic design artist, so he's thank you for sending me that because it's really cool. Then I have this cool lunchbox in the back. It's actually a, a Target exclusive, and there was a puzzle inside. Here I have this. It's actually an old Happy Meal toy from the 90s. You opened up like a VHS, but there's actually a Woody vinyl figure inside with a hat. So that is really cool. I found this on eBay, which is nice. And then this is my Happy Meal toys, Toy Story 4 RV, um, which is really nice. It comes apart and it's different carnival games inside. If you want to see a review of that, I do have that in my Toy Story playlist on my channel. Here I have this really rare Hot Wheels um, RC track. So it's a super stunt set. It comes with the car and the orange track, just like we see it in Toy Story 1. I've used it on my channel for live actions, which you guys have seen, and I really love having it in the box. This alien I got at Disneyland, which is a popcorn bucket that opens up, and of course he's Christmas themed for Christmas time, so I really love that he has his Santa hat and pajamas, pretty cool. Here's my Buzz Blaster that shoots discs out, which I've shown on my channel before. Here is the Signature Collection Jesse that you're going to win if you're part of my fan show. I'm doing a giveaway very soon so check out my fan show if you don't know what that's about and I explain more about that. Here's another tin I got for Tokyo Disneyland. It's Toy Story Mania. I really love the tin. It came with cookies inside but of course I ate all the cookies. But it's a really cool tin and it features the Toy Story Mania ride. It's kind of like 3D which I really love. Metal tin. Here's a Maddie Collector Con exclusive. It is a rare Buzz Lightyear movie accurate box but in mini form with an articulated Buzz figure inside. You can find him on eBay, but he's very expensive, about two, $300 now. Here's my sealed Toy Story Small Fry. Um, if you open it up, he's all wrapped up in the Poultry Palace packaging. And inside is, I have an extra one, an extra Small Fry Buzz, which I featured in my live actions on my channel. Here's a Buzz Lightyear pinata that I found at a Mexican supermarket, <laughs> which I never used, but it's really cool. Here's my 2009 Cloud Pattern RC. I do not have the box for him. I do have a certificate of authenticity for him, but not the box. I really love him. He is amazing and he still works. I just don't keep the batteries in them. One thing to note, don't put your batteries in them if you want them to last forever because batteries could corrode and ruin your toys. We have more aliens that are sealed and these are the first aliens I ever bought, 2009 Toy Story Cloud Pattern Aliens. So in all, I have about nine aliens that are signature or Toy Story collection. Here I have my Bo Peep Target exclusive lamp. Really nice, I love it. It's smaller scale than it's supposed to be, but it's a really nice lamp. Last but not least, my 1995 Thinkway Toys Bo Peep. Mint in the box, never been opened. This is the first Thinkway Toys Bo Peep that they ever made and you can't buy it anymore so this is very rare highly collectible and it still goes for like 300 bucks on ebay i think or more so i'm really lucky to have one mint in the box so i pulled out a calculator how much is my collection worth and i came up with a number of ten thousand three hundred seventy dollars pretty insane 
Well, there you have it, my entire Toy Story collection right now. Hope you enjoyed this video. I do have more Toy Story content always coming to this channel. So please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next video review.